go away as well. Not what we wanted to do, but okay. Plasma rifle? I think I've already got one of them. Keep that. Mm, yeah, I'll keep that for the moment. Move that, then that can go away as well. Keep them, sure. And that's all junk that I can sell to the nearest merchant. Alrighty then, I think we're okay for the moment, so let's head to the next planet. Unreliable navigation terminal. Unreliable navigation terminal, rather. Um, no, I don't want to go to Terry's Groundbreaker. Like destination, Groundbreaker, do Groundbreaker docking bay. Destination reached, the Groundbreaker. Alrighty then. Oh wait, does that mean that? Hold on. Oh, I've a. Uh, okay, I've unlocked an additional slot for my thing as well. Um. What does that do? Spacer's choice. No, that's fifty percent less. Okay, nicotine low. So they've pumped it with nicotine. Marvelous. E pills. Companion ability cooldown fifty percent less. Well, I've not used that yet, so I'm not going to burn it. Just. At the moment. Twenty five percent healing. So if I add these bananas, da, 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 I think that might improve my healing, which will be nice. And there's the groundbreaker. Cool. Welcome back, Captain. Anything to add? How can I be of assistance? Um, I'd like to continue our conversation from before. Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Ooh, nice word. Is there another topic on your mind? Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? Uh, we don't need to discuss Alex directly, but I was wondering how to how he improved your design. Um. Yeah, we don't need to discuss Alex directly, but I was wondering how he improved your design. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. Ah. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Uh, Alex also okay. taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was... Basic in the beginning. Oh, so you weren't always. I thought you were just sort of a futuristic AI. I didn't realize that. So it, that. Okay. Fair enough. Ada is a lot deeper than I actually envisioned her being. Um, where did you come from originally? The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by. Redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Um, okay. See you soon, Captain. Interesting. I'm thinking Ada's going to be a really interesting character in this game, which is in, which is in itself interesting because Let's she's a ship. When you're free. Um, yeah, sure. What's on your mind? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Can't be that good. The place is a dump. Um, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her, if you got time to swing us by. I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can of Borsten Beans, she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yeah, no. Sure, we could head over to engineering now. Uh, I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair. Are you able to leave my crew to join hers? Sure, we can head over to engineering. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. 
Did you want to talk about something else? Is there anything else I can talk to? Um, no, that's fine. Leave the conversation. Boo -da -boo -da -boo. Boo -da -boo. Boo -da boo Yeah, yeah, enough dawdling. Let's get on with it. Bye, Vicar. Yeah, we will continue with these two. Hmm. Hello. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Well, on you, Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Okay. Well, we've got ourselves a story mission. Ooh. Interesting looking ship over there. Uh, don't think anyone can see me. Mine. I mean, oh no! Somebody's stolen all that Smells stuff! Like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. <laughs> and this is why I like having companions. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. If you get to with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now Oops. move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Interesting. Going for a stroll around the docking base? I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Like, just now. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I like, uh, I like to hear your side. What happened? Oh, I heard you knocked somebody out with a taspol stick. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my Rangers and expect to get away with it. You're what now? So, of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? Oh, tossball fan. Fair enough. Oh, okay, slow down. What exactly did you do? The guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey. Not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Never call your name. I'm Edsia. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, Felix. See you around, boss. Stevador, corporate trooper. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. No, you're not. You're wandering around in a strop. Oh, hello. What's in here? Neek. Yeah, take that, take that, and that, and that, and that. And we'll help ourselves to that, and a bit of that. Anything else? Nobody saw anything, right? Oh, I could have closed the bloody doors. Dingus. Ah, oh, well. Yo. You learn to keep your eyes to yourself in my job. Nobody wants you looking close at their cargo. 
Yeah, sounds about right for this world. Or for this galaxy? Star system? Solar system? Oh, who knows? Colonies. We'll, we'll just call them the colonies. In there, okay. Oh, hello, wanted posters. Phineas V. Wells, wanted for various crimes and violations of board policy, including any and all of the following. Seda uh, sedation, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. That's okay. quite the impressive list of infractions. And I've discovered a vending machine while we're at it. Cool. The team to lead Halcyon to an even better tomorrow. Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark. Yeah, okay. Wanted. Gunnar McRed. Dead or alive. Captain Gunnar McRed for several counts of public intoxication, destruction of groundbreaker property, unpaid docking fees, and resisting arrest. Contact Command uh, Commandant Sanitra if you have any information regard uh, concerning McRed's whereabouts. Blah, 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 failure, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Oh, that's Wells again. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at. Oh, cool. They both had something to say. Customs and inspection, right this way. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Tales of Freedom. And board approved Halcyon. Okay. One's for sale here. Um, helmet. Oh, Space's Choice. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Um, heavy ammo. Energy cell. How much is that? Oh. 500? Yeah, sure. Don't need any light ammo. I've got enough for days. Except. Cell. Cell. Da 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 da. Armor? No, it's okay. Right, fine. Oh, junk. I can get rid of some of this junk. There we go. Anything else? Yeah, I think that's alright. Okay. Cool. I think I prefer that to the space's choice. No, don't, 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 dingus. No, put that away. There we go. Yeah, okay, well, I can't nick them, can I? I mean, a good work! You have guarded them from the notorious thief wandering around. I, I, I approve of you, Steve Adore. Um. Hello. Identification, please. Present Hawthorne's ID. Um. <laughs> Let's say, hypothetically, I don't have an ID. What happens then? Captain... Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Oh, are you? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Oh, dear. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Probably, he says. I don't get this resolved. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Oh dear. Right, as we've previously learned from our the previous from Hawthorne's logs, he and Udon were friends, or at least knew each other. So now we're gonna turn up with our ID card saying that we're Hawthorne and he's gonna be No! I know Hawthorne. Who are you? And then we're going to be like, um, we've had plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah, okay, goodbye. Right, uh, any idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna wring that Bedford's neck. Um, great. I'll go talk to him and straighten it all out. You take the starch out of him. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Go. Oh. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Blunt and straight to the point. A shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. I'm sorry. Sanitation robots outfitted for surgery. Good lord, I thought the barber back in Edgewater was... No, you know what? Never mind. Just, yeah. Okay, got it. Much appreciated. That saved anything me else I can help you with. banging my head against a brick wall, I suppose. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Just give me a second. That's okay. That's okay. Right. I'm looking for someone named Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. I'm looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Cool. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Um, yeah, actually, they've all seemed pretty nice so far. Uh, can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Okay. Um, I'm looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Okay. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. <laughs> well, aren't you adorable? How about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Fair enough. How does Halcyon Holdings work, anyway? Are you pulling my leg? Ah, I'm new around here. Ah, I just want to hear your take on it. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. And the board runs most of the system, don't they? Oh, how does the Groundbreaker... Um, yeah. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. How does the Groundbreaker fit into all that? Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Oh, how does the Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Ah. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Got it. Glad to help. Um, I don't think there were many inter independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really, but there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Hmm. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Fair enough. That's all I need to know about work. All right. Um, da, 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 da. What can you tell me about Udom? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. 
Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sounds like a fun guy. Really likes his cereals, too. Maybe a little too much. Bit of a weird bird, all told. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. They're fun. Udon takes it to an uh, unhealthy level. Seems like there's some tension between the board and the groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? I'm sharp like that. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. Hmm. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top in manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Yeah, your station's in a state of disrepair. You could make the board fix it. You mean the heat? Sure, we could make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? Yeah, they would. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Thanks for the info. Sure thing. Be around. Be seeing you. Right, so we can't leave until we've got all our bits and pieces sorted. Marvellous. Okay. Where is the Commodore? Oh, hello. A quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostile. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chip I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. Okay. Well, first, I'm going to do a hard save. Save. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Oh, hello. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Graham? <laughs> Asshole. Interesting. Right, companion quests. Drinking sapphire wine. Uh, cleaning machine, the empty man. Right, where does that need me to go? ID cartridge. Um... How do I use my doodad? Okay, you found an ID cartridge. To use the holographic shroud, you will now be automatically disguised when entering an associated restricted area. Okay then. Hello. Hey. Goodbye. So I need to access the temple. Restricted access. Here goes nothing. Okay. Trespassers will be shot and <laughs> shot on sight and fined. Holographic disguise activated. The holographic shroud has activated, giving you a temporary access to the restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogation to reset your shroud. It will be harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Okay, so. Way. Keep your sights out, friend. Way. Oh, I could steal the hoop if I want. No, we're not going to risk it. Oh, come on, really? Uh, bypass, bypass. ID card, energy cell. Where 
Where's this computer? Oh, the terminal's on the other side. Oopsies. Oh. Boo boo ba doo boo doo. Just ignore me. Just passing through. Okay. Can I reset the shroud by leaving and then re-entering? Yes. Cool. Right, so I need more lockpicks. 23 of 30. Or is there a terminal I can use to access it? Guns, hammer... I love that I can abuse this so much, though. Welcome back, Beans. Um, right. I need lockpicks. Let's go visit the vending machine and see if I can purchase lockpicks. Uh, space is choice first, because I'm in good stead with them. Bypass shunt, mag pick. Okay, so I can't buy the lockpicks because... I don't have enough standing? Oh, no, it's because I just can't afford them. Son of a dingus. Okay, right. Well, I'll have to come back for that one then, won't I? I think. Oh, hold on. Um, I'll save the game. Can I talk to the woman through the window? Oh, I can. Hello. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Well, aren't you charming? I'm interested in McReed's bounty. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Okay, then. I'll take the posting. Oh, why don't you send a Mardet to apprehend him? Oh, I will. As soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. So, in about three to seven weeks. Got all of bureaucracy. Uh, bureaucracy. I'll take the posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Oh, what bounties do you have available? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. That aside, not much else. Groundbreaker's keeping calm at the moment. Gonna but notice the bounty posting on Phineas Wells. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. Hmm. No, I think not. Is this Wells Fellows a famous criminal or something? To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. What was like working so what's it like working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? <laughs> While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Understood. Fine, fine. Then get to business or get moving. What's a Mardet? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. Why Mardet and not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. Ah. Uh -huh. Folks started calling us Mardets because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Fair enough. I'll be on my way then. I'm gonna talk to you. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Oh, I can. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Just getting my bearings. What do you do here? 
This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. What do you mean anymore? Why can't you take incident reports? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, <laughs> folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Oh, 